I'm thinking Talk That Talk, Ghetto News, Heist Man, Defoe is a paid fake. He's the disinfo shill. I got this from a couple years ago from his channel. He liked to present himself as a spy. The following to me sounds like he was putting on a fake southern accent. If so, that would make sense why he had nothing on the Hilaria Baldwin story, unless I missed it. Fuck that tough talk, that shit's irrelevant. Saying you pop off, that shit's irrelevant. If I get caught, you know I'm bailing it. If her ass off, you know I'm nailing it. Fuck that tough talk. That shit's irrelevant. Saying you pop off, that shit's irrelevant. If I get caught, you know I'm bailing it. If her ass off, you know I'm nailing it. What up, though? Everybody motherfucking doing tonight, man. Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk, episode one. And what the fuck we gonna talk about today? Oops, I have no earthly idea, first of all. Let me plug a few things and shit. Get some shit popping. Alright. I'm gonna talk while I smoke this motherfucking Newport 100. I like Newport 100s, man. I like them for a different reason, though. I, st I started off smoking Coos. You know, because that's what my mama used to smoke. My mama used to smoke Coos. Coos cigarette. K O O L. Coos. Well, I used to steal them motherfucking coos as a motherfucking child, you know? 11, 12 years old. Nigga, I used to be like motherfucking a commando, like an army dude. I'd be crawling on the floor. If mama fell asleep on the couch or something watching TV, I start from the kitchen. I get all the way down low. And I crawl sneakingly, like real sneaky type. And I crawl to the motherfucking floor. Let me crawl to the pack of cigarettes. And she smoked the motherfucking um, coos that came in the pack, not the ones in the box, you know. So I sit there and I open up the pack of the cigarette and I just uh, hit it one time. And how many of them fall out is how many I got. I did sort of show up to his blog and let him know that my thingy had gone viral. It was over 17,000 views. I don't think he mentioned Hilaria Baldwin once on his channel. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I don't remember it. This guy, Heisman Defoe, his whole shtick is Hollywood and stupid, irrelevant news. Was he putting on a fake southern accent? One show he admits he was growing up in Detroit. Another show I recall Charlene mentioning he's from Detroit. Anyway, this sounds fake. This sounds affected. This sounds like my scoop on Hilaria Baldwin. I got that scoop, but it was originally from Twitter, but in regards to YouTube, I nailed it. I was probably the first person to upload, including her using a fake accent. I had to just go with audio, because Google wasn't letting me download it for some reason. Some videos get blocked completely. I can't download them. I can't get to the Google video. So that's my conclusion that Heist Man was going with a fake southern accent a couple years ago. He realized it would be too much work. Similar to Hilaria Baldwin, she eventually dropped her by mixing Spanish and southern. Did I say Heist Man had a Spanish accent? Well, anyway, now I don't remember. But I do remember when I'm going through some editing on some other videos, I'm like, what the heck did I do? What? I can't fix that. And then I try to voice over and plug it back in and it never works because you can never reproduce the way your voice was at that time because it's infinite for the factors, the volume, the pitch, the whatnot, the et cetera and so forth. Um, there's all the rest of it. If you make a mistake and it's organically connected to the previous words that's it you're done you can't edit that without it coming out clunky when the words are that close together it creates an a relationship of infinity
it's going to be near impossible to separate it. Okie dokie, uh, I wanted to make those couple points that Heistman appears to have tried using a fake southern accent. I wanted to show that he was fixated on presenting himself as a spy. That's from Mad Magazine, isn't it? The spy versus spy thing. One other thing I want to share in this Heisman guy is that he's made Devious Dave Rose one of his moderators. I took a screenshot for the proof. Here is a video of Devious Dave Rose acting racist toward a black guy. I just wanted to call, you know, I just wanted to uh, holler at Dave Rose, man. I wanted to know what the fuck was wrong with him. Well, we, we would all like to know that, wouldn't we? I mean, how uh, I personally. Now, I just personally want to know because you're talking real greasy on here, bro. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee you, you wouldn't say that to a black person to their face. And I guarantee you. are damn right I fucking you, would say it to a black person to their face. I'd also I guarantee, fucking call out with fucking stats and fucking point out. Wait, what did you say? I guarantee, I guarantee you, that wait, I'm fucking telling you. Dave, you wouldn't say that to my face. Dave, well, what did I you say? I guarantee that I fucking would. I guarantee you I would beat the living shit out of you. Well, how about this, nigger? Oh, no. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, how about this, nigger? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? You give power to work. No, and guess what? You get oh, more. No, no, what I no, call what you? you are, hey, what I do for a living? Wow. I talk on the air. You ridiculous piece of shit. Wait, what is okay? he? What is, what is he? My do? job is to be on the air. What oh. you're actually doing is being a pussy ass shock jock and trying to get <laughs> some clout, but really you're just a punk ass bitch. Wow. You wouldn't say that to nobody black face. So what you are is a pussy. So I want to tell you that to your face. I want to let Damn. you know, ain't nobody buying what the fuck you selling. And if you was to ever say that to a black person face, they would beat the shit out of you. So it makes you wonder about this heist man being so anti-black himself in many ways, wearing that outrageous uh, KFC hat with the Newport cigarettes. He's saying how he prefers to be with white women. Who the hell thinks like that other than a racist? And now he's making that devious Dave Rose guy a moderator. It's just bizarre. I'm glad Heisman showed his true colors and who he's affiliated with because it doesn't add up. He trolled himself. I'm done with them. I'm done with their show. I unsubscribed. I had them highlighted on a playlist I put together called Decent Stuff to Watch. I took them off of that one. Now it feels like I'm infinitively connected to them so that's why i'm making this second video i wanted to show those three points the third one being that he made the dave rose guy his moderator let's see what else i have because i'm nowhere near coming up with 15 minutes of stuff here's heist man almost in tears apparently over the death of tommy lasorda He's acting like it's so surprising the guy was like in his 90s or late 80s or something. What up though, Heist Man the Foe Talk That Talk Ghetto News and Opinions. Man, we got to talk about this tragic passing, man, of Tommy Lasorda, man. He just passed away today at the age of 93 years old. R.I.P. to the great Tommy Lasorda. Most of y'all know him, man, for being, a, um, you know, the coach or the manager, but he also was a pitcher, a coach, and a manager. So, but he did his thing, man. He went to the Hall of Fame back in what, 97? Man. R.I.P. to the brother, man. It's, it's, man, they said, what did they say he died from? They said he passed away from a heart attack. He had a heart attack Thursday night, man. Man, that's messed up. 93 years old, man. R.I.P. to the brother, Tommy Lasorda, man. I know him from back. I don't know him, know him, but you know, I know him from being a coach from back in the days, or a manager from back in the days, man. And just sad to see had to pull out the old Dodger hat for this man. So, R.I.P. to the homie Tommy Lasorda, man. We're gonna be talking about this and more right here on this channel Friday night, well, which is tonight. So, y'all come through and highlight me, man. I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Hit the like button, the share button, the subscribe button, the comment section, the notification bell all them good buttons you got to hit to get this piffin that i'm putting out when i put it out and like i said we go live every friday at 9 p.m
Iceman was just so impressed with Tommy Lasorda for some bizarre reason, yet he'll never mention Julian Assange. Yet he'll associate with a racist nut job into uh, blaming Antifa, just basic disinfo shill crap. He's saying he would beat up people or threaten people who are pro mask. That's the Dave Rose guy. And now he's a moderator for Talk That Talk. He puts the ebonics into his title page. He's making fun of his own people. Really makes me upset. I fell for that guy, but I didn't really because as soon as he started bringing in these other people, the people in the wrestling, the Canadians, whatever, that's when my eyes opened up and I went, ah, you don't fool me anymore. And then today I found this other stuff. That's pretty much it. That's about all I'll go with. I could add in some other video blogging, but I'm not really feeling into it. Not today anyway. I feel so let down. I don't trust anyone on the internet anymore. I trusted this guy. He seems so legit, so real. And now he's just putting on the most obvious disinfo show stuff imaginable.